excitement certainly building here. Yeah. Um, how are you feeling ahead of Saturday's match? Yeah, feeling good. Um, you know, obviously good to come here, mix it with a few of the UFC boys, and um, you know we're huge fans of the sport, and um, it's awesome to get behind a few Aussies that are that are fighting this weekend. So um, yeah, just grateful to be here. Plenty happening in Perth. Is it you know a, a privilege to be a part of it and to bring the codes together? Yeah, massive. Um, big big weekend in sport here for for the fans here in Perth. So. Um, you know, we've got a big game against the Springboks and then we've obviously got UFC on, on Sunday. So, um, look, awesome to be a part of it and hopefully we can um, you know, get a result for our fans. Plenty made of the Optus Stadium turf. How are you sort of, um, you know, predicting it'll, it'll play? Well, from, from what I remember back in 2019, it was awesome. So, um, you know, I expect nothing less. How do you reflect on last week's result? Obviously very disappointing for you guys. Yeah, there was definitely some lessons learned and um, look, you know, a week is a long time in, in sport so um, you know, we've learned our lessons and um, you know, it's, been, it's been a tough week for us. You know, we'll work hard so um, look, we're looking to do um, more of our game plan this week and, um, and for performance that our fans can be proud of. Is it, what went wrong and is it something that you can turn around in the space of one week? Yeah, like I said, a week's a long time in sport. Um, you know, it's, it's no easy feat coming against the world champs and you know, we've just got to do our jobs better individually and as a collective and I think Slip touched on it nice earlier in the week that um, you know, the responsibility is on us as players um, as we've got the right framework and game plans to, um, you know, to take it to these guys. So um, as players we've got to be better and um, you know, this week we've worked hard. South Africa, they made 10 changes, some saying it's a bit disrespectful what they're doing, what, what do you think about that? Well they've still got 14 World Cup winners in their squad, um, you know, they're back to back World Cup champs and you don't get that without depth, so um, look, it, it's no disrespect at all, um, you know, we've got a tough test match to win on the weekend and, and that's a challenge for us. Well, what do you think when you look at their depth, they can do what they do right now? Oh, I mean, like, like I just said, they're back to back World Champs and depth is a big reason why um, they're able to do that. So. Um, look, it's, it's going to be a tough match again this week. Um, like I said, 14 World Cup winners still in that squad. So, like I said, the challenge for us is to, um, is to, to, to come this week prepared to go to work and, and to put in a, a much better performance than last week. How different do you think they'll be with all of those changes? Uh, well, the, you know, their game plan is, 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 hasn't sort of changed over the past, I guess, eight years. Um, the challenge is how do you stop that and can you stop that? And that's, like I said, that's something that we're up for this week. And, um, Look, it's going to be tough, but for us, we just want to be better. Traditionally, the, the crowd's always really got behind you guys. How much do you hope that can, I guess, help as you guys look to bounce back? Yeah, well, I'm hearing it's going to be a huge crowd. Um, and there's a lot of fan, a lot of fans here for us and a lot of support um, behind us here in Perth. And um, we've got one of our own in, in Carlo Tizano, who's also from Perth, so I'm sure he'll be bringing a lot of fans along uh, with his family. So, um, look, it's going to be awesome, and um, we expect the same um, as we did last week at Suncorp with our fans. Just got to be better and got to do better. Um, as players, like we said, um, we weren't good enough, and we've got the right frameworks and the right the right game plans um, from Joe um, to, to get the win. Um, and like I said, you know, we just got to be better. There's been any talk since the Springboks named their side about you know, their changes within within your side of it. No, nah, nothing changes for us. It's um, you know 23 uh, green and gold jerseys that we've got to face, and um, like I said, they're all World Cup champions. So um, you know it doesn't matter who you put in their team, but it's going to be a tough, uh, tough challenge, and um, we expect nothing less from them. Coravetti was held back last week. What's he been like on the track, and do you think he's ready to go this week? Uh, yeah, he's been good. Um, like you said, you know, he missed last week, and um, you know he's, he's just finished the season up in Japan. So um, look, you know, we've got we've got Marika who, who can come in, and we've also got guys that are. Um, also playing the same position that can come in and slot into that um, spot easily. So it's going to take a 40-man squad effort to, to beat the world champs, and like it always does. So um, whoever gets the opportunity to play um, will be right up for it. Yeah, with Marika, how more exciting is it when you see him out on the field? And how much of a lift do you guys get? Yeah, well, he's a world-class player, and I think um, the more you have of those guys in your team, um, you know, it's, it's certainly going to help. So uh, um, you know, we'll see what happens with selection. So you're yeah, swapping a few notes. And yeah, I was asking Ty what he reckons for this weekend. He reckons just throw the overhand, come through with the uppercut, and just keep that jab ready. So, um, yeah, I think that's something that I'll keep in the back pocket if I need it. <laughs>